I think just like the case I just made for Ethereum, an opportunity to sort of invest in the internet in the early days, why not invest in every competitor and every layer one now while you have the opportunity? And if one of them becomes truly successful and three or four of them die, I think you'll more than compensate the losses on the three from the, the one that succeeds. So I love Solana. I love uh, Elrond. I'm a huge fan. I've been since the very beginning. I love Avalanche, Avax, Dot. So these are things that I'm pretty heavily invested in all of them. Wow. And once again, I know there's people who are maximalist about each one. I don't see an Ethereum killer. I don't see a world where one of them dominates and rules everything. I think each one will find its ideal use case. And then platforms like Cosmos, which I love as well, Atom, Kava, Dot as well, that focus on interoperability and allowing these blockchains to talk to one another. I think they will be a huge, huge boon for the space because then you don't have to just, if you don't like Ethereum's fees and you don't like that it's slow, you can use one of these other ones, but you'll still be able to talk to Ethereum and exchange value from Ethereum to a faster blockchain. Have you ever had your followers sort of say that Bitcoin, especially for people just learning about it this year, feels out of reach because of its price and they don't even want to go into it? They feel like they should trade maybe these altcoins because there is the potential that one of them takes off and it's like an 8,000% per, you know, 8, return? Yeah, and I tell them that you're going to probably lose everything. Right. So as much as I love trading and, and, and I've traded my way to a pretty uh, decent portfolio, New people that come to me, I tell them, slowly buy Bitcoin, dollar cost average, invest, don't touch it. That's what you should do. Once you've been doing that for a long time, maybe look at Ethereum. Once you've looked at Ethereum and gotten comfortable, maybe go down this risk curve a little bit. But you know, somebody should not be all in on any of these coins. I talk about being bullish on them, but they're very small percentages of my portfolio. 70% of my portfolio is always a basically Bitcoin and Ethereum.